Welcome to Cal, the number one Minecraft university. My name is John, and I'll be giving you guys a campus tour of UC Blockley. So this is Sprawl Plaza. Sprawl Plaza is usually filled with student organizations tabling and trying to hand you a flyer by asking you a really random question. Some of the questions you're gonna hear a lot on Sprawl are, uh, are you interested in consulting? Uh, do you care about sea turtles? Uh, are you a nice person? And yeah, I guarantee you'll walk out of Sprawl Plaza with at least five flyers in your hand. Lower Sprawl Plaza. Lower Sprawl Plaza is surrounded by Zellerbach Hall, Eshelman Hall, the MLK Student Union, and the Cesar Chavez Student Center. It's the favorite spot for skateboarders, small concerts, and job fairs. A lot of dance groups such as AFX like to practice at Lower Sprawl. So whenever you walk through, you're probably going to see a lot of Asian people dancing in Adidas sweatpants. This is the Cesar Chavez Student Center. It was named after the charismatic founding president of the Farm Workers Union. At the student center, you can find all sorts of student services, such as student advising, the transfer student center, and the disabled students program. The Recreational Sports Facility, also known as the RSF. The RSF is the campus's main gym, and it has weightlifting equipment, cardio machines, and courts that can be used for basketball and volleyball. The RSF is also connected to an outdoor track, a swimming pool, five tennis courts, and a baseball field. Here is Seder Gate, the world-renowned gate and entrance into our campus. This is Barrows Hall. It was built in 1964 and named after David Prescott Barrows, who was once a president of UC Berkeley. Barrows Hall is the location for most humanities classes and discussions. Fun fact, you can find very fresh and cold water fountains in the basement floor of Barrows. This is Wheeler Hall. Wheeler, Wheeler, Wheeler. Wheeler is the largest lecture hall on campus, and it's the home of the English department. In the 1960s, the building was the site of many of the free speech movement protests. Pretty cool, huh? This is Donnell Hall, the second largest building on campus. It's so easy to get lost in Donnell because of his confusing room numbering system and the maze-like layout. Whoa, 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 can you stop screaming, bro? The Valley Life Sciences Building also known as VLSB. Fun fact, there's a huge T-Rex skeleton in this building. Moffitt Library. Moffitt is a multi-floor library that houses the Free Speech Movement Cafe and the Student Tech Center. I believe it's the only library on campus that'll let you bring in and eat food. Floors four and five of Moffitt are open for 24 hours. So a lot of students have slept there for a night, two nights, or even a week. No cap though, this library is real musty man, it always smells. This is the Memorial Glade. Come during the day and you'll find many students playing frisbee or having picnics. There are three university seals that surround the Glade. Apparently if you step on one, you'll never get a 4.0. Oh, It's the Campanile. The Campanile, also known as the Seder Tower, is the third tallest bell and clock tower in the world. Students can go to the top of the Camp Neely for free, and from the top, they can see the Bay Area and most of campus. If I was a building, I'd be Evans Hall. Why? Because I'm ugly. This is the Hearst Mining Circle. It's surrounded by Stanley Hall, Hearst Memorial Mining Building, and Evans Hall. A lot of people like to take their graduation pictures here because of the nice pool and that weird white thing. This is the Haas School of Business. It was built in 2018 and is considered one of the most beautiful areas on campus. Haas offers full-time and part-time MBA and PhD degrees and also offers a really good business undergraduate program. If you're afraid of snakes, then I suggest you don't go there. Yeehaw! This is International House, also known as Our House. This is what a bad and bougie eat and sleep. Yee! California Memorial Stadium. The stadium is located right next to the beautiful Berkeley Hills, and it's the home field for UC Berkeley's football team. Big name NFL players such as Aaron Rodgers, Jared Goff, Marshawn Lynch, 
and Tony Gonzalez have all played here. At the start of every season, Cal offers a small discount to those who buy season passes early. But yeah, let's be honest, the football team kind of sucks and no one wants to buy those season passes. The stadium is right on top of the Hayward Fault, so if an earthquake ever happens, the stadium can split into two. And that was the end of my tour. I hope you learned something about the campus and I hope you had a good time. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you around.